All right, let's take you to uh, some politics now. The African Christian Democratic Party has uh, says it's now keen on joining the multi-party charter ahead of next year's elections, but only if there's no immediate coalition partnership, but an option to form a coalition government if one is needed after the polls. The charter was launched back in August in anticipation that the ANC won't win an outright majority in next year's elections. Action SA, the DA, the IFP um, and about four other uh, political parties are part of this charter. Let's uh, speak now to Zakela Ntlovu, UKZN political science lecturer. Uh, Zakela, thank you so much for your time uh, here on All Angles. Just firstly, what do you think uh, this uh, is um, you know, coming from? I mean, the AC ACDP had said that it doesn't want to form part of this charter. Where do you think the change of mind came from? Well, I think that um, ACDP calculated that they don't want to get left out in the cold. Mm. Uh, I think there's a, a realization at this point that if they don't join forces with the multi-party charter, then they are basically left on their own because I don't think that they want to join forces with the ANC. So they would rather join forces with the other opposition parties. Yeah, yeah. All right. And you say that they, they want a piece of the pie, right? But at the same time, when you look at the, this uh, multi-party charter, uh, there's not really enough of the political parties that would, uh, you know, form a coalition that would oust the ANC, right? Or am I counting wrong? No, you are counting right. Look, if you look at um, the political parties that have formed this charter. In terms of the numbers, uh, they don't really add up at the national level. But now, if you look at the provincial level, you know, for, for example, in KZN, there is a possibility that the IFP would increase its support at the provincial level, which would give it a chance to govern with the DA in a coalition government. Um, but at the national level, the numbers are not looking good. They're going to have to work very, very hard to um, get enough numbers to uh, get the ANC out of power. Mm. All right, uh, Lynn, let's talk about, you know, this 50 plus 1 uh, percent uh, that uh, the ANC needs to get from next year. Uh, you know, obviously that is something that is probably not possible in terms of the trajectory that we've seen. But is it the fault of the ANC at the moment or does it also coincide with the fact that uh, voter turnout has dwindled quite a lot? Look, I, I, I think that many South Africans uh, have lost hope. Mm. Uh, or are losing hope. Um, and so you will find that many people are not going out to vote. So uh, the number of people voting is going to drop significantly. And that's going to hurt the ANC. And, and, and so what is happening is that the opposition gains when people don't go and vote. So it's not that the people who don't vote for the ANC are going to go and vote for the opposition, but they'll just rather not vote because they have uh, been disappointed with the ANC and mm. so they decide not to vote. But if they decided not to vote for the ANC and then voted for the opposition, then it would be a huge gain for the opposition. So mm. it would be a small gain because uh, the people decide not to vote. And those people who don't vote are people who normally would vote for the ANC. Mm. Uh, you know, Zakela, let's talk a little bit about some of the policies and beliefs in these different political parties. The ACDP coming in, uh, obviously a very uh, Christian church type of run uh, political party. They have uh, many beliefs in terms of even the LGBTQI plus community that they're against. And then you look at the Democratic Alliance, right, uh, which is a political party that has named a, uh, a premier candidate in KZN that is proudly part of the LGBTQI community. So any clashes there, if any coalition is formed? I mean, already I see a lot of uh, rough debate when it comes to policy and beliefs. Excellent question. Um, I, I think that has been the major problem with coalitions in South Africa, is that they've got nothing to do with ideological beliefs. Uh, so usually when coalitions are formed, it's parties that 
um, have beliefs that uh, converge, right? Mm. So, but in South Africa, it's more of a marriage of convenience. So you just touched on a very important issue, the LGBTQ community. So the ACDP uh, is totally against um, the LGBTQ um, community. And, 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 and so how does it work with a political party such as the PA, which is a liberal party, yes. uh, which uh, understands that uh, we are all equal before the law and that no one should be discriminated against be it on the basis of sexual orientation or on the basis of race, ethnicity, and so on. So how do you get political parties that don't see eye to eye on major important issues to work together, be it on economic issues, be it on social issues. Uh, but the one that you have just mentioned is very, very important. And I, I don't see how the CDP can coexist with political parties that insist that the rights of every South African should be respected. Mm, and uh, that's always my issue, right? When we look at these political parties, uh, for me, when I look at these charters, etc., yes, they want to oust the ANC for its bad performance, obviously, in the past few years when it comes to services uh, to many uh, South Africans. At the same time, you see coalitions that have happened at municipal level. And uh, it's all still about the bartering uh, of each other, who's going to be leader of this, people taking each other off the seats, etc. So how do they expect us to even believe them as the electorate uh, you know, when they uh, say they want to form coalitions with uh, parties that they don't have the same belief system or policies with? And how do they expect us to believe them when we've seen what's happened, for instance, in Joburg? This is a tough one. I mean, voters are faced with a huge challenge because those who are looking to vote for the opposition and, and, and get the NC out of power, they are dealing with a situation where these opposition parties don't really have much in common, other than the fact that they want to uh, get the ANC out of power. So, so that kind of thing cannot work in the long term. And that's yeah. why at the local government level, we've seen these coalitions collapsing. Yeah. Zakele, thank you so much for your time and insight here uh, on all angles. That was Zakele Nlovu, uh, a lecturer of political science at the University of Guazulu, Natal.